Let's explore the difference between injection molding and injection stretch blow molding, or ISB, construction. With both injection molding and injection stretch blow molding construction, plastic pellets are melted and pushed through an extrusion machine screw, which forces them into a desired mold shape. What differentiates them is how the part is formed once the plastic is pushed through the screw. With injection molding, molten plastic is pushed with high pressure through a small hole or injection point into a closed steel or aluminum mold cavity or space formed by two corresponding parts, often referred to as the male and female cavities, forming the plastic into the desired shape. The mold opens and the completed part is removed. Examples of injection molded containers are open head pails, tubs, caps and closures and applications that require precise fit and exacting quality standards. With injection stretch blow molding, ISB, the molten plastic is formed through a die into a hot, hollow plastic tube called a parison that is lowered between the two mold parts that close on the form. Air is forced inside the cavity and forces the softened plastic into the desired mold shape. The completed part is then trimmed and removed from the machine. Examples of ISB containers are UN tight head bottles and jerry cans and polypropylene or high density polyethylene household food and chemical bottles and jars. For more information on which product is right for you, please call one of our packaging specialists. Hill & Company is dedicated to packaging your vision.